Hi, welcome to this newly installed SSD system. It's the latest ISO. We've been working on Arch Linux B minimals. And let's now have some fun and build an Arch Linux B just for games. That's an idea, isn't it? So I had this what if. What if I make an ISO that installs all the games there are, the best of the games, not all of them, of course, but ISO, the gigabytes, is no issue. Let's go and find out what's there on the net. So, we are opening our browsers. Now let's close everything else. Hoppla, there we go. And then we need to figure out the packages. What packages, what applications are there in our system? So, a keyword like game probably is going to work. Look at the votes. And Minecraft is one of the first. So, we have a list. We have also other ways of finding out the names. But let's prepare ourselves. So, we have names that we would like to install and we need to install it somewhere. So yeah, let's get it back. For instance, we say let's go for this Arco Linux B. So Arco Linux B, well, take that one, b.com. You know, there's new links here. And this one is just about building an ISO. That's what we want to do. We want to build a gaming ISO. Now you need to decide what to do. We want to, don't want to have this on the Arco Linux. That's OpenBox, XFC, i3. It's too much. Just one desktop will do just fine. Now we also have these minimal guys. Now the only thing we have to think about is what desktop do I want? What desktop do I like? Is OpenBox your choice? We're working on OpenBox now. Is Plasma is too big um, for, well, it's already big, I mean, and then with the games, it's going to be a huge amount. So XFCE, OpenBox, for many people, i3 is too much, is too difficult, and the same here. So either XFCE or OpenBox, I think that most of the people are okay with that. So I am going to go for OpenBox, and I, I think it's going to consume less memory and less power drain for the desktop i hope anyway so i'm gonna say let's install this one so this is what you get when you install the open box uh, procedure here you get Arch Linux b open box but we're gonna change it so that's done we go to our file manager to our desktop right mouse click and Control shift v so now we have this thing here okay we have an installation script that we can change we can change it to something more appropriate so it's called open box min why not call it Arch Linux gaming right and doesn't really matter what desktop it is we are fully aware that it's going to be an open box so gaming fine it's going to be called article next gaming now these packages here which is opening on the other screen let's close that one so this one is a list of all the packages that are going to be installed and there are already games so we are have already thought about it so steam yes we want it steam native we need it looter is a sort of platform sort of way to find other tools or other games and these two as well so save if we do this we have already a bunch of software on there um, well, I think it this was 3.4 gigabyte already we don't care about size okay just having beautiful system to game on okay so we go to this site we don't need this anymore Minecraft that means <clears throat> when you press super 4 it's going to divide 4, 6, 2, 5, 4, 3, 4 arrows as well so you can divide it over your screen it's not like in XFC you go to the, the site and it, it uh, changes it's not like that with super 6 it is 
tiled. All right. Okay. So Minecraft is Minecraft Minecraft. What I mean by that is yay Minecraft. Right. Is it from AOR? Is it coming from AOR? And we need to type this one. I think so. Yeah. Then we have to do something different. So control C. Let's put this one on the top. Let's put this one down here. So AOR stuff is something else. That's something we should do afterwards. That it's not on. There's an only one place that it's on and that's on the AOR. So we need to have a script to run later. Okay. Let's have a look. If we go to the desktop here, we have here a script. We have here a script, right? So we can make it right now and call it run after installation. So that's the idea. First install everything that's coming from the standard repos and the stuff that's coming from the AOR. We're gonna do something with it. You can leave everything here except this. You can get rid of these lines and all the rest can go. Okay, delete. You need these uh, two lines. And then we go A minus S Minecraft. Our first application has been chosen. Let's move that one. I was just thinking. Let's open everything with Atom. Sounds in more interesting. So if you do right mouse click, open with Atom at the level up, then you can see here complete structure and go for your choices. Now, Let's be smart about this. So, whoops, not, not smart, Eric. <laughs> Stupid. So, enter. Control V, enter, Control V, enter, V, enter, V, enter, V. All right. I'm going to install lots of software. Okay. The only thing we need to do is type something behind it. So, we're off. Minecraft, Discord, already have it. Enemy territory. Sounds good. We need to check maybe, and checking can be done here. Yay. And then enemy territory, right? It's both AOR and it's both packages that I need. So, Control Shift C, Control V, the same thing with data behind it save it's installed so light table mm -hmm, running games unity discord eduke eduke 32 sounds like a good one it looks like an old game of mine and interesting to play that one later on eduke that's enough so 32 it's an advanced as well, a Zen version, a VN, eduke32. Let's give it a try. Eduke. This is going to be installed afterwards. So it's not going to go on the ISO. World of Goo. Oh yeah. That's a good one. In a long time I haven't played that one. Plane Shift. Fantasy. Not sure what it is. You know what? I want to know. Plane shift. Stall me this. And then Crack Attack. Super Nintendo classic Tetris attack with Fedora's patches. Poof. Why not? Crack Attack. What's that? Never played any of these things. And that's the fun. Open Sonic is one. You know this little, you know, what to call it? The Sonic character. Typos are not allowed, ever. Okay. What else? So um, I've voted, if these votes are going down, so that's the way I select it now. Quake 1 game engine, no, engines, we don't care about the engines, we want to game. 
point. Doom engine free game based. Maybe this is a game. Not sure. I am not a gaming specialist ever. Is a Minecraft launcher. Official Minecraft launcher. Hmm. We have to keep that in mind. The question is, is this correct? I installed it years ago. And finally my son outgrew Minecraft. Chocolate common. Okay. So you see what we're doing. Open arena is one that's people know. Safe. And maybe I should pause the video and just work on, right? Okay, so I've added some more and um, that's all AOR. So there are also packages on Arch Linux and I wonder if I can find those as well. Those are the packages from Arch Linux, not AOR. Let's see what happens if I type game. Uh, there is no voting or anything, so I really have to go over them one by one. There is the AOAD, the zero O probably. Let's uh, use yay anyway, because it's going to tell me if I typed it right. Uh, it's not an O, so it's a zero, is it? AD, zero AD. Yep, and that's it. So I need two things. And this time we're not going for the scripts run after installation. This time we are going to put it in our Arch ISO. So control find games and we're gonna put them right under here. So it's a zero AD and a zero AD data. Oh, dark table, what are you doing? Data. Keep off. Okay. And what else? Uh, let's see what else I like or could like. Patience games. Minecraft simple because Blinken. Blinken. I have Blinken. I think I know what Blinken is. I think it's uh, Simon. That's why the way I know it. It's Simon, I think. Beach ball game with blobs of goo. Ah, what's that? Bomber. I think I know what that is too. Well, thanks to the development of uh, KDE, I show Plasma, and Linux B Plasma. I know a bit of uh, games since I had to make icons for it. I played them as well. Dope Wars. Extreme Tux Racer. Do we have that one yet? No. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good one. Extreme Tux Racer is going to be installed. Billiards. I actually like billiard. As a 20 year old, we spend a lot of time in these halls. Free droids, para droids. Fugrata. Frozen bubble. You have to see that one. That's a nice one. Frozen bubble. I think it even comes from these um, well, fairs where you can play it on these machines, arcade machines. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do just the same. Go over all of them. Let's pause here and come back. Well, I'm back already because of the case. I'm gonna skip all the case. The case are all the games coming from KDE or Plasma. So there's a lot of things in there. KDE games, meta for instance, meta package for KDE games, a lot of them. And I talk about 30 or 40 or something like that. And all of these guys are coming down with it. But it's all smaller little games, right? Okay, pausing. Okay, I'm at the end of this source. Let's look for another source. Let's first stay on this machine and see what else we can find. If we go for PAMIC AOR, oh yeah, sorry, 
Soyuz XFC Super 4 and then categories games so this one is in we've done that one Armageddon I forgot that one that's a nice one Armageddon from that no typos allowed and then you go and see okay Astro Menace why not Astro Menace fine uh, Battle of um, West Knot is something you hear people playing Blinken we have that Blobby I don't think so Block Attack Poof, Tetris thing so uh, I I don't think it's that but it looks good the icon so whatever let's have a look why is he making a capital I don't want you to capital okay Bomber, yeah, why not? Well, it's bomber system. Bomber, and then again, you go over and you see. Um, and if you type things double, doesn't matter, it's just gonna skip it or, or even reinstall it, but it's not gonna be an issue with our creation of our SU of our ISO. Do poor stealing drugs? Nope, I don't think so. Uh, five or more, four or more, three droids, you brainy gnome. All gnome stuff. Probably no dose. Run the old ST and ST and T and Falcon. So this is Atari. If you're my age, <laughs> you know what Atari is. Beautiful system, too bad they went. Bankrupt. Cap these are all the K, all with the K is from Plasma. Maybe not all, but very often. Never ball is in, never put is not in. Never put, 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 double T. Ah, it comes with. Never ball. Okay, then it's okay. So it's uh, the same name. This one and this one is the same name. So it will work. I may be skipping very important games and you say, oh, you're skipping this or that. I am not a gamer again. This one is in. Okay, Super Tux is in, Tux Paint is in. And these two are in, are in as well. You can do a click here to size and say, okay, that one is in, that one is in. I don't know what this one is. Warsaw, I think we put Warsaw in. And another tutorial or something because not here. Warsaw, or was it Warsaw? Was it here? Did we put Warsaw in it yet? No. Because it may be that it's in, in both of them, but then in the Git version or something. But it's not. Whitelands? I want to know what Whitelands is. So, see that we're in the correct file. Whitelands. Okay. So the size is going down. Have that one. Have that one as well. Potato guy? No, 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 no. no. Red alert. If I think open raw, I think I know what that is. Let's see. <laughs> okay. And then we're at gains for 23 megabytes. It can be interesting, but ah, the car breakout. Yeah, that's a nice one. Car breakouts. Nothing to do. You want to rest your brain. G brainy <laughs> then uh, breakout is good so we have now other games as well so another source and of course there is always the internet so best free games Linux top best alien army battle for West not it's in some of this in that's in Dota 2 that's not in so yay Dota 
nothing is there I can forget about it Ubuntu pit alien war alien, alien arena do we don't we have that one let's check alien so Maybe this one, I don't know. They probably use their correct name if it's that one. Here is something that's out of date. So we always can try Alien Arena. Alien Arena, okay. SVN. Save. What else? What's not this in? So not this in. What's in? Dota 2. So this Dota thing, that's, that's uh, strange, yeah? Dota, Dota, Dota. Ah, because it's influenced by Dota. All right. Free civilization, through combat elite, smoking guns, assault cube. That's something we should add. Yay! Assault. Let's see. Yep, assault cube. So it's not from AOR, so we can put it here. Anything that comes from the normal repos, you can add it to the ISO. Assault cube. Save. Correctly typed. Yep, okay. Cube 2. Yay, cube. Let's see what we get. No radio. Mm -hmm. Sour brat, and we have that one. The GameCube emulator. I'm gonna go ahead and analyze even further, and then I'm uh, coming back. Pausing. Okay, you get uh, the idea. I stopped this link and took a look at the others, but I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna make the build. That's basically what we're doing here sharing the knowledge so we have this bunch of software of game data that's going to go on the ISO I'm very curious to see how big that's gonna be and the rest that we found is coming from AOR so it cannot go on the ISO and we'll install it later on just run the script and you have it too so that being said where is my information so here is the installation script we changed it to gaming All right gaming it's going to be called article linux gaming and the only thing we need to do is open a terminal here move it with super six to the side and that one as well to four and then we take 30 and we're going to build a system there we go if there is no connection or there is a slow connection of github or anything or your own connection internally uh, so better not do this with wi-fi better with lan always and everything is going to be downloaded from the net it's going to be a bunch of software is going to go on here like i said i'm very curious let's wait and pause here all right take a look at the figure at the bottom of the page we have written an ISO of 5.3 gigabytes here it is you see so it's that easy and that much fun to build your own gaming ISO now the question is where is it it's always going to be in something Arch Linux B built or Arch Linux D built or just Arch Linux built. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Out, I mean, of course. This is the build uh, folder. Everything is built, so this can go now. The result is in here Arch Linux B gaming. That's it. All right. Do we want to see what we have? Yes, we can, but it's going to take a while. <laughs> it has to unsquash a lot of information and maybe it's not a bad thing to include another setup of how to make your virtual box 
the best possible settings for your machine. So Arch Linux, 64 bits, fine. 50-50, 16 mech, I can't go without it anymore since once you have it, you need to have it back. As simple as that. A lot of memory is good for the soul. 15 gigabytes is enough, but this is a gaming ISO, Eric. So normally Arch Linux is 15 enough. And the smaller it is, like BSP, WM, i3, you can even go, well, it's five or six or seven gig that we use in the hard disk, so it's nothing. But this is five. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna play it safe. I'm gonna say 30. And then right mouse click settings. I'm going for processor one, two, three, four. So four and eight. Remember to put this one on, this is all good as well. Display in the middle, enable 3D, probably important now. Not gonna play on the virtual box, but just showing. I am of course going to install it on SSD, much more fun. So the out version, that's it. Start, click everything away, enter. Control F to not show, switch, click this away, and then we're going to boot up into Article Next B in a minimal XFCE version so we can keep maintaining it rather than open box or PSPWM or GNOME or anything, it would complicate things a lot more would be very slow in developing them. So, Arch Linux games with a Z. Yeah, that's a good name. And there we go. And I wonder how long this will take. Because it needs to unsquash how many megabytes, gigabytes was it again? So, we can move this guy out of the way. Hopla and hopla and oh it's, did i close it i closed it already so we can see it's still here 5.3 gigabytes 5.6 it says here very strange how that always differs seems to differ between those two but hey we can live with it let's just say 5.3 <laughs> so there you go we are unsquashing everything so this is kind of unzip unroar or unpack decompress tool and everything is going to be written on the system i better pause all right it took uh, a while uh, we'll see in the video later what is a while so 2011 it is here now and we are going to restart now it says 2211 so it's an hour two hour difference so we have to look at this hour anyway Booting into it, and let's see, Control F, can we do that? Full screen. No, we can't game, it no, makes no sense to start gaming on this uh, machine, but, 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 we can have a look. What did we install? Now, let's make it interesting for me as well, in the sense that I have to make, um, icons anyway for any of these guys so generate a pipe menu with icons and let's see what I'm missing there is still some work to do Eric so these are all games let's put them here Armageddon, Astro Menace, Blinken, Block Attack, Bomber, Checkers, Chromium, Extreme, Atari, Cabri, Account so I, I seem to have half of them of the icons you know so there's still a lot of work to have all these icons there it's gonna be fun so that's my next thing to do to write it down so i do it later so this is now your system best thing is of course well installed on ssd that's my next uh, project and then uh, let's play some things all right have fun making your own isos